we're going to be able to achieve greater equity in global health if we prioritize thinking about putting the people first. Oftentimes we think of global health as, as a new technology, a new medication, uh, a new diagnostic device. All of those things are important, but we need to put the people first. And that includes not only the people on the receiving end, the vulnerable communities that we all care about and, the, and we, where we come from, but also if we, we also need to think about the workers, and I mean community health workers in addition to clinical staff, uh, who are actually going to be delivering these new technologies and responding to urgent questions about threats, reassuring people, educating them about how they need to protect themselves and their family, or how they need to uh, prevent things from happening um, and what they need to be watching for. So those, when, if we could put the people first, I think that's, that's how we will actually achieve equity. And I think those of us in the global health industry, we need to ask ourselves those tough ethical questions, not just about things like vaccine equity globally, that's, that's become obvious over the last couple of years, but also about who are we asking to implement global health programs? How are they paid? Are they paid? How well? Are they paid consistently? What are their working conditions? Those are ethical questions that we in the global health industry need to ask ourselves. We can't just simply assume that we have a great idea for a new program, whether it's nutrition, maternal and child health, malaria, whatever it might be, and just assume that the workers are going to be there to implement what we've come up with. Uh, we can no longer go forward on that basis and got to really consider the needs of the workers.